Predator-Prey Cycles by kscience.com Foxes are predators. They hunt and eat animals for food. In this example, rabbits are their prey, animals that get hunted. As you can see here, this is a predator hunting its prey. The fox is the predator and the rabbit is the prey. And the fox will eat the prey. In this case, it's the rabbit. What I'm drawing here is a predator-prey relationship graph. With the population numbers of predator and prey along the y-axis and the time, which is normally in years, along the x-axis. The red line represents the prey. So in this case, it represents the population size of the rabbits. So the population size of the rabbits, the prey in this case, will only rise if the conditions are favorable. So if there is enough food, if there are enough mates so they can breed, but also if they're not being hunted. So there needs to be more rabbits being born than there are rabbits dying. The red line represents the prey. This blue line represents the population size of the foxes, the predators. And you can see that the population size of the foxes are increasing. This is because the number of prey increased. Therefore, the foxes had more food, so less foxes would starve and more foxes would then survive. This would then lead to an increased number of foxes because there is more food for them to eat. As you can see, the peak is after the peak of the prey. Because the population size of the foxes increased, that means that there is going to be more rabbits being killed and eaten because there are more predators hunting and eating the rabbits. And because the number of rabbits decrease, that means that the population of foxes will decrease too because there is less food for the foxes to eat. Therefore, more foxes will starve and die, so their population size will decrease. And because the number of foxes decreases, that means there are fewer predators, that means there are fewer rabbits being hunted and eaten by the foxes. That means that the number of rabbits are going to increase. Then slightly after the increase in numbers of the prey, the rabbits, the number of foxes will then increase again. So there is more food to eat, therefore more foxes are going to be able to survive, not starve, not die and breed. So because the number of foxes have increased, that means that there are more foxes that will eat more rabbits. Therefore, more rabbits will die than are being born. The population of the rabbits will then decrease. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes.